Hello, I'm Alf, the UCAS Application Form Guru. If you've just submitted your UCAS application, you may be wondering where it's whizzed off to and when you'll hear back. I'm going to guide you through what happens next. So now you've hit the submit button, your payment is being processed and your application is zipping its way through the UCAS system. Once it's been checked for plagiarism, UCAS will ping it over to all the universities and colleges you've applied for, all at the same time. Don't worry, they can't see where else you've applied, so that they can make their decisions independently of each other. Remember, as with most important steps in life, there will be waiting. Lots of waiting. There will be deadlines. Things may change. You may not get your first choice, but what you do get offered may be exactly right for you. While you're waiting, the universities and colleges will carefully consider your application and check it against the entry requirements for the courses you want to do. They will be interested to read about your reasons for choosing their course, what you have done in the past that makes you suitable, and how you can contribute to the course you've applied for. Sometimes a specialist member of the admissions team will also look at your application. For example, if you have a disability, or if you come from a group of students who are underrepresented at those universities and colleges. This will make sure that you receive a fair decision and are made aware of any extra funding and support services which might be available. When each university or college has decided, UCAS will send you an email. Yay! Log on to track to see what they say. Usually it will be one of three answers. A big thumbs up, an outright no, or a yes if you meet certain conditions. Let me tell you a bit more about those three possibilities. If you get the big thumbs up, it will be called an unconditional offer. This means that there is a place for you. All you have to do is accept it if you want it. Nice to be popular, isn't it? But don't rush. You don't have to make your decision until you have heard back from all five universities and colleges. If there isn't a place for you, then the message will say that your application has been unsuccessful. This might be because you haven't met the entry requirements or because there's a lot of competition for places. Remember, you still have four more decisions to wait for, so fingers crossed. A third reply you might get is called a conditional offer. This means there is a place for you if you meet the requirements given. You may, for example, have to attend an interview, pass a test, or get a certain number of points or grades in your exams. Once you have had all five decisions, it's time to make up your mind. UCAS will give you a reply deadline. Don't miss it, as you won't get a second chance. Based on the offers you've had, you'll need to make a firm choice. This is where you most want to go. Confirm this using track. If you choose a conditional offer as firm, you can also accept a second choice as an insurance in case you don't meet the conditions of your firm choice. Remember to select an insurance place requiring lower grades than your firm offer, just in case you don't do quite as well as predicted. Once you've made your firm choice and selected a backup, you decline all the other offers. And once you've done that, there's nothing left to do but wait. Sometimes the UCAS process is not quite so simple. For example, if you change your mind, don't reply to an offer, or if you don't receive any offers. In these cases, talk to your sixth form or college teachers and careers advisor to discuss how to manage your next steps through the UCAS system. Good luck with your application. And don't forget that you can find more information and helpful videos on the UCAS website, www.ucas.com.